It's not just that you're a crook, Senator. It's that you're attacking the health of the people that you represent. He would be nothing but a rubber stamp for Chuck Schumer. And the reason I'm talking about the same words is that he does it all the time, and that is he's saying things that will disclose or that, that will disguise his real radical socialist agenda. Perhaps Senator Perdue would have been able to respond properly to the COVID-19 pandemic if you hadn't been fending off multiple federal investigations for insider trading. In the middle of a pandemic that is worsening, a pandemic that Senator Perdue told us would be no deadlier than the ordinary flu. In the middle of this historic public health crisis, Senator Perdue is still supporting a lawsuit to repeal the Affordable Care Act. We've got to hold accountable the people that helped create this pandemic, and that's the country of China. Communist China today is one of our biggest threats. This man worked for him for two years, and we've heard it already. He is now not acknowledging that he worked for that company. And in the last debate, he said absolutely not. But I'm here to tell you that there is a document, and I have it right here. This is his July filing where he disclosed to the federal government that he, in fact, did work for them. Now, there's a responsibility here he needs to own up to because sooner or later, we need somebody in the United States Senate that will stand up to communist China. This is so beneath the office of a U.S. Senator. You've continued to demean yourself throughout this campaign with your conduct. First, you were lengthening my nose in attack ads to remind everybody that I'm Jewish. Then when that didn't work, you started calling me some kind of Islamic terrorist. And then when that didn't work, you started calling me a Chinese communist. It's ridiculous. And you shouldn't do everything that your handlers in Washington tell you to, because you'll lose your soul along the way, Senator. 